Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Many times I get this question, my Rahu is transiting in this particular house. What does it mean? What, what does it exactly mean? You know that, okay, Rahu is transiting my 10th house. Does it mean something related to my profession will happen? Hmm, but uh, for that, we need to check the dashas, right? Uh, or does do we need to check transits? And if transits, then what's the difference between, let's say, Jupiter transiting the 10th and Rahu transiting the 10th or Saturn transiting the 10th? Okay, so whenever you see Rahu is transiting in a particular house, we need to understand what Rahu wants us to do there, okay? Otherwise... Uh, we will see transit videos and we will feel, okay, every transit is very similar in the sense like Jupiter transits 10, something happens in your profession. Saturn transits 10, something again happens in your profession. And so is Rahu, right? Or why only Rahu? Ketu, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Mars, anybody, right? But it, it works out like that, but not exactly, okay? So every planet transiting a particular house gives results for that house. That is guaranteed. So... No, nonetheless, whichever planet uh, transits any house, uh, like for example, if Jupiter, Saturn, Rahu, Ketu, any, anybody is transiting our 10th house, depending on the power of the Mahadasha and the Antardasha, you will surely have some event related to the 10th house, okay? Now, the magnitude and quality of that event will depend on the Mahadasha and Antardasha. So, for example, if you have a very powerful Mahadasha, Antardasha, then you might get a very big job. Okay, so you, I, I know people with these placements and uh, good Dasha and good transit, they get jobs like in India, you know, uh, they start with, if it's an IT engineer, three and a half lakh rupees per annum. Uh, but when they get this job from four or five lakhs, they directly get a job of around 18 to 20 lakhs. Okay. So it is like uh, 3x, 4x, uh, what you are making in one quarter, you make in one month, okay? So that's an example. And if the Mahadasha is not that great, but the Antardasha is great, then you may make uh, get another job with like, you know, 70-80% uh, increment, okay? So from uh, 3 and half lakhs, you get a job of like uh, 5 and half lakhs, okay? Uh, and if the Mahadasha is neutral antardasha is also neutral you might get like some um, you might get a job like from three and a half you might go to four yeah or four and a half at the max you know so so therefore the magnitude the power the quality will depend on the mahadasha antardasha because see transits are very generic you know so for example if your rahu is transiting 10th house <clears throat> And then it will transit in the 10th house for all the people who uh, have the same ascendant like you. Okay, so therefore you need to understand that uh, please judge the transits from, uh, please first see the Mahadasha and Antardasha to see what is the level, what is the extent of the uh, nature of event that can happen. And once you see that, then you see the transit, you see the house and then you see the planet and here comes Rahu, okay. And as usual, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up after watching it till the end. And if you want a consultation, you will find my website also down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him. All right. So first, as I said, Mahadasha Antardasha. You know, so for seeing Mahadasha Antardasha, you need to do a comprehensive analysis from the chart, you know, which you will find in my Astrology Basics playlist. So if you have not watched them, then please watch. Otherwise, you may wonder that, oh, Rahu transited this out, but nothing happened, you know. So actually, it's not because that Rahu didn't give anything because, but the reason was uh, your Mahadasha Antardasha did not indicate anything uh, of that sort. You know, that is why nothing happened because transits in itself cannot give events. Okay. They cannot. Okay. <clears throat> so now you, let's assume you have seen your chart. You have done a overall comprehensive analysis. You have seen where is the flow of the chart. You have seen uh, what are the prominent planets telling, what are the energies, what I should do, what I should not do. You have seen all this. And now you come to transits. Now you have your Rahu. He's transiting the 10th house. Let's assume, okay. So what will happen now? So let's assume that in your Mahadasha Antardasha, there is indication of some good event, you know, not something very grand or not something average, but let's assume there's something good, okay, from 
three three and a half lakhs you get a job of like you know six lakhs let's let's assume that. okay for for a moment let's just take it that way so you get like 80 90 percent of increment so for that at least as i said you know the, the antar dasha should be very good okay otherwise even that will not happen so let's assume your mahadasha is neutral and your antar dasha is very good now your rahu is transiting the 12th house okay uh, sorry the 10th house now what is 10th house as you know it's the house of uh, name fame power position you know it's not just job so 6th house shows jobs but 10th house shows work which makes you very famous that's the difference okay both the 6th and 10th give you money but 6th uh, house can give you nominal money average money you know 10th house can give you where give you the big money okay so now when you see that my antar dasha is indicating something very good and now you realize that rahu is transiting now the transit has started okay from end of october you know to your 10th house now you need to see what is going on in the chart overall first you need to see where the energies are flowing now once you see that then you have to see you need to understand what rahu is you know Rahu represents, Rahu and Ketu both especially, they represent boundaries, okay. So, uh, but what kind of, what does it mean in they represent boundaries? They they literally don't represent the boundaries, but they represent things which can sometimes be outside of the boundary, okay. So, they can represent things which are a bit unconventional and they might represent things um, which you might have not, thought before no it's like unexpected okay so so now uh, let's assume you know your mahadasha is good antar dasha is excellent and then your rahu trans is the 10th so now something related to your profession will happen for sure but because it is not jupiter or sun or moon mercury venus it is rahu it is a natural malefic and it shows things which are you know like um yeah, out of boundary, outcast. <laughs> okay. So, therefore, what could happen is you might uh, get a new job, but that could be in a startup. Okay. Or you might get a job uh, which is not in a startup, which is in a normal, uh, it's in a big multinational company. If you're Jupiter, Mercury, Venus, Mahadasha, Antardasha is going on, then you will get a job in a big, big company. But because Rahu is transiting or 10th, the unit where you will be placed, the unit inside the company where you will be placed will be like a new department, okay? Which means you may not exactly uh, know the structure, systems and processes and you might have to start it from uh, the basics, okay? So even if Saturn is transiting, then also this can happen. But the difference between Rahu transiting 10th and Saturn transiting 10th is that Saturn will give you growth after a prolonged period of time. Okay, It will not just give you some magical growth out of the blue uh, immediately when you join. So uh, if you have Saturn transiting your 10th, then you need to be very careful during your probation and all this. You know, you really have to show and perform well. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> you may not clear the probation. I have seen people... Uh, Saturn transiting the 10th and they are like uh, carefree in the beginning six months you know at least in Germany uh, six months the probation is there you know and they can fire you without any reason uh, for six months okay they can fire you later also <laughs> but you have no defense okay before six months <clears throat> you cannot sue them you can't do anything of that sort okay so yeah so if Saturn is transiting you need to be very careful because um, your your <laughs> you might get a notice at your home suddenly and then you log in your system oh it's uh, i'm logged out it seems <laughs> but if it is a rahu uh, it may have a similar flavor like saturn but it could also bring out some other unusual things you know like for example you might be working in some technologies now you might be working in technologies that you already know but within that the implementation of that technology will be in such a platform you know which you will uh, you, you may know but you do not literally know which means you may have the theoretical knowledge but 
you will not have uh, the practice you do not have that practical experience which is required so now because your dashas are good so you got the job even though you had theoretical knowledge maybe you had some knowledge in a similar technology you know for example uh, you are into cloud computing so you learned uh, amazon uh, aws you know the amazon web services and now you come into uh, this company and the job requirement is you know microsoft azure or google cloud platform okay so uh, this means because you know cloud in general that therefore you might have got the job but now your technology is similar but uh, considerably different you know because the nomenclature for every cloud is different uh, although the concepts are the same but the nomenclature is different right <clears throat> or you might have a team which is you know very international where uh, you 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 have some uh, issues with the language you know like for example yeah they they speak english uh, but they don't speak english you speak english which I suppose you do because you are watching this video or uh, and then they speak German, they speak French or they speak Italian or whatever, some 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 language which you have no idea of. Right. Of course, that does not mean that there will be no communication. But, you know, there are subtleties in a language which is beyond just uh, the understanding, you know, like there are some words there are actions and there are some uh, the, the the tonicity also matters right uh, which is completely uh, taken for granted when you speak in a language which you are not very comfortable with right so so therefore there could be some nuances uh, which are lost uh, in between the lines as they say you know so that that could be one possibility so similar technology, but uh, lack, lacking uh, pr proper practical implementation, then different language. Then there could be a different technology altogether, okay, which you, which the management trusts that you will learn and do, but um, it's not how it works these days, but could be there. I've seen the possibility, okay. And of course, number four is, you know, foreign land. So you may, so this is similar to second point, you know, the language, but it could also mean that you are literally in a foreign land and the language is same, you know. So maybe you are in Germany, every colleague speaks English, but you are in Germany. Or it could be that you are in India and your, uh, your uh, on-site people, they are in Germany. So although you are in India, but they expect you to learn German and, you know, speak. And of course, now number five is the most important, you know. This is what Rahu Transit is all about, which is, unusual implementation okay so when rahu is transiting your tent it will most likely certainly happen that the things that you have learned in the past that you thought that will help me they might help you to give you a good direction but the ultimate answer may be lying somewhere completely else you know somewhere somewhere uh, which you never expected okay so Rahu also will encourage you or rather should I say force you <laughs> force you to do research research in that area of life especially in your profession and Rahu especially will represent technology so if you know your Rahu is in your 11th house transiting because Rahu is always retrograde so from 11th he will go to 10th okay rather than from 9th going to the 10th so if you know Rahu is in the 11th then you know very soon he will enter the 10th house in one one and a half year so before even entering the 10th house you should look and see what are the latest technologies that people are using okay otherwise you may fall behind and also the transit of rahu in the 11th is an excellent time for learning new things you know for interviews why because from the 11th, Rahu will aspect the third house, right? Third house is the house of interviews and uh, yeah, clearing interviews, failing in interviews, okay? And third house also shows, uh, uh, sorry, the 11th house also shows uh, things which are trending. So basically when Rahu transits the 10th, before that to, even before uh, that, you know, when Rahu is in the 11th, you need to understand that 
now I should uh, spot the latest trends in my industry, in my career, in my profession, in my job, in my work, you know, in my business, in my consultancy or whatever. What are people looking for? Where are high paying jobs, you know, or whatever. It's like something which can take you to the next level. Okay. Not just monetary wise, but overall in terms of experience, you know. So when you do this, uh, what will happen, uh, you will be aware of what to uh, study, what to learn, what, what to be certified in. So, uh, so when Rahu is in the 11th, it's a great time for certifications. Okay. And then when Rahu enters the 10th, you will realize, oh, yes, now I'm prepared. And now I need to use my certifications, you know, to crack interviews or you know, uh, to show that I have learned something else, something new, something which nobody has you know, in the market. So when Rahu transits the 11th or 10th, you know, especially the 10th, it is good if you prepare for one certificate, one level certification above. Okay. So it means, you know, you, you, you are into maybe some domain where you know that everybody at your level has this certification, but now it is good if you also have the next certification. Because, you know, these are malefics, Saturn, Rahu, Ketu. You, you never know. They may fire you without any notice, okay? Because I'm not creating fear here for Rahu transit in 10th, but I have seen possibilities. Because, you know, try to think. It's a bit uh, counter. It's like, uh, it's a bit obvious and but natural that if you are into a startup, you know, they may fire you anytime because they may suddenly lack funds. If, if you are in a big company, in a new unit, they may still fire you because they may see, oh, you don't have potential, you are doing nothing and or they may feel you are doing nothing and they may feel you will not do anything for some reason <laughs> and then they may fire you, right? So therefore, uh, be one level above, you know, at least in terms of theoretical qualification so that if there is a dangerous situation, you can defend your case and you can say that, hey, look, I'm trying my best and I have these certifications and I'm very sure this is my plan. You know, you, you can at least try to defend yourself. You know, of course, what happens by destiny, you know, that is something you cannot change. If they have to fire you, they will anyways. But you can make your case a bit stronger. And if you are out of probation, you can also, yeah, maybe sue them or do something, you know or demand some severance package or something like that if they fire you. But nonetheless, you have to be ready to uh, deal with foreign languages, you know, do something unusual, start from the grassroots, be in the foreign lands, foreign language, you know, and new technologies, similar domain, but different technologies. And uh, you have to upskill yourself, learn the latest technologies because Rahu represents technology. So if Rahu is transiting your 10th, uh, you will need help of more technologies. And that's the difference. If Jupiter is transiting your 10th, you may not need the best technologies, but you will for sure need to know uh, something about the vision which you have. Okay, so, so if Rahu transits the 10th, you may get the job as a... Um, senior software engineer or a lead software engineer you know technical work would be there where you actually have to do the work either you do it yourself or you get it done through your uh, juniors okay but if jupiter is transiting your 10th you know it could be that you are more like a manager you are you are uh, giving the vision and then you are letting others do it okay of course you also have to do the work but your work is more managerial planning okay it is not like literally you go and do the work okay uh, of course you have to coordinate people you have to coordinate their strengths weaknesses and arrange people accordingly so this can be one difference okay but of course if you are in the beginning days of your career if you are like 25 28 and jupiter is transiting or 10 then you may not expect that oh i'll get some managerial position you know <laughs> but nonetheless this is the uh, default uh, theme or, and the trajectory of events for different tran planetary transits, okay? And you can use this for different houses. I just took an example for the 10th house because it's uh, easy to explain things for career uh, because the 10th house directly shows your profession, okay? 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions, queries, uh, please put it down in the comments. Um, and yes, if you're new, then please subscribe. And if you liked this video, which I'm sure you did, please hit the thumbs up. And if you want a consultation, my website is down below in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him for sure. Thank you.